Welcome to Healthy Helpings TV, the show that makes fast food healthy and healthy food fast. Today this is so fast and easy that we don't even need to be in the kitchen. First you'll need to prepare your ingredients. Grated carrot, now if you're doing low carb you could substitute this for another crunchy vegetable. Uh, iceberg lettuce. An assortment of Asian herbs, I've used cilantro or coriander, uh, Thai basil and Vietnamese mint. You can always use regular basil and regular mint. I've also got some bean thread noodles. Now these are better than the rice thread noodles because they've got more fibre in them and they're lower in calories. I've used some shrimp or prawn. Uh, these ones are pre-cooked and I've just had to shell them. And for the vegetarians I've put out some uh, marinated tofu as well. Okay, so once you've got your ingredients together, you're going to take your rice paper wrappers and and just place it in the bowl of hot water. Now this is about the only thing you need to have um, ready kind of at the moment. Everything else you can, can prepare ahead. So this is fantastic. It might start to curl up. So just use a pair of chopsticks or tongs or your fingers just to poke it down. Now you want this to get soft but not soggy. And it's great because you can put whatever you want in it. Um, so if you've got people who are doing low carb, they can skip out on the, on the noodles um, and the carrot if they wanted to. And you can even offer other things like capsicum, which is bell pepper, um, and different kinds of sprouts and beans. So then just pull out your wrapper, give it a quick drain, place it on your plate and you can start building your ingredients. I'm going to take just a little bit of the bean thread noodles, place them at one, slightly to one side and then just start building up the rest of my vegetables. take some of these beautiful fresh herbs. Now a lot of these herbs are quite easy to grow in your garden and they'll just grow in pots as well so even if you live in a small apartment you'll be fine with those. And the, the Vietnamese mint I find it's just impossible to kill. I've been doing so well with that. Just be careful not to overfill your your roll. So you just want to put a little bit of stuff in. You can always go back and build another one later on. Just place the, the prawn in there, or the shrimp, depending where you're from, what you're going to call it. Fold one side up. It's kind of like folding up a tortilla or an enchilada. Fold the next side up, so on the corner. Then start rolling it tightly, hoping that no holes appear. Fold the end in, and finish rolling it up. And there you go, you've got yourself your first cold roll. You can repeat this to build tofu ones or you could use um, pre-cooked chicken. You could buy a, a pre-cooked, pre-roasted chicken and just serve the bits of cold meat there. Or if you live near a Chinatown, you could even pick up some Chinese barbecue pork, which is absolutely delicious, possibly not the healthiest thing. So I'm going to go ahead and build some more of these. So along with this, then you're going to just mix up the dipping sauce. So you'll need the following ingredients. In a pesto and mortar you're just going to combine the chopped up chilli, you can use, uh, if you can't find Thai chilies, you can use serrano or jalapeno chilies as well um, and the garlic, smash that up in your pesto and mortar or in a food processor if you wish and then add in the re remaining ingredients and mix that round and just taste it and adjust it to taste. You may want to add more sugar or more lime depending on how you like it but you want a nice balance. So that's pretty much it. A beautiful balance of fresh crispy flavours from all these lovely fresh Asian herbs. So don't forget to check out healthyhelpingstv.com for the recipe and I'll catch you next time.